Some new and insane tools just came to Kittle. And to show you how to use them and how you can implement them, today we're gonna to be doing a full design tutorial using these brand new tools. If you haven't used Kittle before and you need more of a basic tutorial, I do have a full beginner's tutorial of Kittle on my account and you can get started for free with a free month in the link below. So let's go over to Kittle and if you've watched a lot of my Kittle tutorials, usually we start working from a template, but today we're actually gonna start with a brand new blank file. And what we're gonna do is going to hit new project, and then usually what I'm doing with new project is I usually set a high enough file size. So usually I do 5,000 by 5,000. But a new thing that Kittle has just introduced is they have integrated with a lot of the print on demand partners. And if at the top here you go to POD presets, you're going to find shirt sizes, sweatshirt sizes, and these are going to be based on the exact print provider that you use. So I use Printify and say we're making a t-shirt. We actually are going to do this one here, which is the 4,200 by 48. 800 pixels, which is the exact artboard size you'll find when you create a Printify t-shirt. So today we're gonna be making a scuba diving t-shirt, mostly because I just got back from vacation and it's kind of top of mind for me right now. I'm back in Canada and freezing and wishing I was back in the warmth where everyone is scuba diving. And because I've also made sales in this niche before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down to Kittle AI and instead of using the image generator, I'm gonna be using their new logo generator. And I'm gonna type in maybe a type of logo. The secret here is a logo doesn't necessarily have to be a logo. A lot of them can pull off as t-shirt designs as well. So into the description box, I typed in a vintage style scuba diving t-shirt. And you can put in logo. I don't really know. I don't think I had to put in t-shirt. You can play around with what you type into this box and you'll get four different options that show up below. I did get one that failed to load haven't had that happen before, but it's probably because my Wi-Fi is kind of bad right now. But taking a look at the other three that I got, I'm really liking this circle one. I'm a big fan of simpler designs that have just a corner pocket design. And circular designs like this are more subtle and something I would probably list in my store. And if you don't like any of these four options, you can just generate logos again to get a brand new four. And what is absolutely so amazing about this logo generator is you're not stuck with this logo. You actually now get a template that is fully customizable. I can change what it says. I can change the logo. I can change the font types. So instead of working from one of the many Kittle templates, I'm working from an original template created for me by AI. And I'm not currently a big fan on exactly what it says. So I'm going to use another new tool, though I have used this in other tutorials, which is their AI quote generator. So you can find this by going back to the Kittle page and then going on to tools. And then under tools, we're going to the, go to the AI quote generator. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to hit generate quotes. And you can pick one of these already given niches, but we already know what we're doing. So I'm going to be typing in scuba diving and then hit continue. And then you can pick a mood for this quote. I usually go with funny or happy or motivational. Really depends on what you're going for. Let's see what funny gives us. And the template that we're working with has only really two words. It has two quotes with like two to three words. So I'm just going to hit the pick a length of two to four words and we're going to generate quote. So here are some I got on my first roll. So I got Ocean Attic, Fish Whisper. I think those are already great. Dive Now, Work Later. That one could be an awesome choice as well. Just Keep Diving, Wetsuit Wonder, Seaweed Snorkeler, Fueled by Nitrogen. I was iffy on all of those, so I did roll it one more time. So on the second try, I got a few other great ones, but one that I just thought was hilarious that I think scuba divers would like is the quote here. Decompressing, literally. So coming back to our design, I'm just going to double click on all the text and I'm going to change it to decompressing and I'm going to change this to literally kind of like putting it in brackets. And then I'm probably just going to play it with the sizing a little bit more just because now that we've changed the text, it doesn't fit quite the same way. I might change this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. I like that. I might do the same text. North Road is what this one is. So I'm gonna change this one to North Road as well. Make it bigger again. I'm also gonna press the button over here just to lower the spacing in between all of the letters. And there we go, they look about the same now. All right, you can go ahead and play with this as much as you like. I'm just gonna keep it as this. And we actually want to get rid of the background. While the background does make this look a lot nicer, we don't wanna print a background. So I'm just gonna click on the background here and I'm just gonna hit delete. And now we just have a black background 
which is totally fine. But now I wanna see how this is gonna look when it's actually put on a t-shirt. So what I'm gonna do is in the top corner here where you see this little picture of a shirt with a star on it, I'm gonna hit that, which is the mock-up button. We are gonna get a bunch of different t-shirts that come up and I'm gonna go down here and find one that might fit the vibe of this t-shirt. Also guys, say hello to my cat who wants to be in the film today. Hi Leo, say hi. Yeah. My cat has decided that I am not allowed to film today unless he is sitting on my laptop. So this might be a little bit difficult from here on out. But if you take a look at my background here, I have selected a mock-up to go with our design. And the reason these Kittle mock-ups are so awesome is because you can change the color right within here. So I can change the color to any t-shirt I plan to sell. And then if you actually drag around your design, you can see my design is mapped right to this mock-up. And if I go over folds, it actually warps the design directly to the folds and even gives it shadows. So again, I said I like this as a corner pocket. So putting this here, I think that looks great and is really helping me visualize what this is going to look like when printed. And then you can download this mock-up if you want to use this for Etsy or wherever you are selling your t-shirts. And then to go back to save your actual file, you can hit go back to editor and then you're gonna be back in your original file where you can save it as a PNG. And outside of this tutorial, there are two more tools that I want to show you that I think are highly beneficial that are in Kittle or are soon coming to Kittle. So the first one you can find if you go back to Kittle, you're gonna go to tools and we're going to go to AI art feed. And these are all AI generated and you can take a look through these both for inspiration, but you're also able to use them in your designs. And I find these extremely helpful because sometimes I don't exactly know what to type into AI generators. And this has really helped me understand what people are typing in to get certain results. So for this one here, again, these were all created with the new Kittle AI, which was also recently updated to create results like this when it was first out, I don't think it was as great as it is now. You would never get something like this, but someone in the Kittle AI wrote, put in a dog with a cowboy hat. And if you click in here, you can also see what style they use because Kittle AI lets you pick what type of style you want with your AI generation. And they picked t-shirt graphic, which I think is a new one because I didn't see that in there before. And I can copy that prompt to try to get my own version, or I'm even allowed to use this image in my designs. And scroll down again, we have Jesus wearing sunglasses. We have cute winter bear head with a heart. The ones that I think are really helpful are these types of ones here. The ones that are usually a vector image or this new t-shirt graphic, which seems to be getting people some amazing results when I'm looking through here. When I'm thinking about ones that I could use in my designs. How about <laughs> this Dalmatian one's great. Gangster Dalmatian with dollar eyes. Same thing, t-shirt graphic. That seems to be the most popular one to use. This one here is great, a low detail tiger face. This one was created using vector art. And to get to your own Kittle AI generator, you do what we did earlier, but instead of flipping to the AI logo generator, you just stay on the Kittle AI and then type in your prompt and select a style. And the next thing that I want to talk about is something that is upcoming to Kittle. And I really was really hoping I could talk about it in this, but there is a wait list. So I want to tell people about this so that they can get on this wait list as fast as possible. And you'll, if you have Kittle, you see this at the top here. It's it's Kittle AI X1. And what is that? It is the first generative AI for graphic design. And what does that mean? If you scroll down right here, what you can do is just type right into your design, create a floral birthday card. But not only that, you can type in additional prompts to further change that design. So again, their example here, make it more florally and it'll change and generate to have that old design, but apply that new design style that you just gave it. And right within your design, instead of having to come up or search up a new quote, you can just write, create a funnier quote, change the background image to a star. Instead of having to go find your own elements and your own new quotes, you can just use AI to keep changing your design and iterating until you are happy with it. So this is gonna be called their design co-pilot and it is something I am super excited to actually see implemented and to actually make a full video on. I am in the wait list and I do suggest if this is something that excites you, if you want to get early access on Kittle, just come up here and in the top banner, click on get early access and then just put in your email address so you can be one of the first to try out this brand new tool. All right guys, let me know what new tool excites you the most in the comments and I can't wait to see you next week. Thanks.